Hello again. In 11 points, we have 11.6 and 11.7. Both they are the same. In the 11.6, actually, this one is not included for your exam, is not included because we have a conic section generally. And you saw this one conic section in the in your high school, I don't know, in the, anywhere. You know how to find the ellipse, you know how to deal with the, how to deal with the equation of the ellipse. How's the section plus the parabola, you know that. Parabola, for example, y is equal to x squared. This is the parabola. How's the ellipse? How's the circle? <clears throat> circle generally x squared. Let me write the general form x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square. That one's the general form of the circle. And you saw that when x square plus y square is equal, for example, to any number, this is the circle, right? And there is the equation of the circle. But maybe we have an equation of the ellipse here. You can see from here, we have an ellipse. How is the equation? It's on the x-axis, y-axis. You saw the, that one, actually. For example, we have x squared over 5 or 25 plus uh, y squared over 9 is equal to 1. You saw that one. You know, it's this because the A is greater is on the X axis and we have a virtues and we have a, a three and minus three here, five and minus five here. And we have a focus. We have a center is a zero and zero. Do you remember something, something like that in your high school? Hello? You don't know about the ellipse? How's the equation of the ellipse? Really? But you saw that one, I'm sure that in the geometry you have that least. The equation, general equation is like that. X squared over A squared plus Y squared over B squared is equal to some number. Do you know about the circle? Do you know about the circle? X squared plus Y squared is equal to 25. You know how to sketch that one? You have an origin, here's a five, here's minus five. Am I right? Do you know about that one? That equation, so. If I change that one to ellipse, so the equation will be like that. X squared, for example, general, right, general forum, X squared plus Y squared is equal to R squared. This is general forum for the circle when the point, the center is origin, understood? So how about generally circle? How about if I want to sketch something like that? The center is here. How we find that one? Here's H, here's K. So the general form of that equation, circle equation, is like that. X minus H squared, Y minus K squared is equal to R squared. You got it? Hello? You got it or not? Come on. For example, I say x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 25. I know that I have a circle with the radius 5, okay? And I know the center point is x and y, 2 and 3. So I have 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. That will be my circle. Here's a 2 and 3. Understood or not? Good. So if I change that equation to something like that, four plus be nine for y squared is equal to 25. In that case, I say I have a ellipse. I have an ellipse like that. Here's three, here's three, Here's two, here's minus two. You got it? And the center is what? Zero, zero. And the radius is what? Is five. Sorry, not, not the radius. General any number. Understood? So in polar, that's the conic, and we have a hyperbola. 
this is the standard equation you can see for ellipse they called ellipse so we have a circle we have a, a parabola and we have a hyperbola understood these shapes are very important for us we have a circle we have an ellipse okay because they are both they are the same so the first shape the second shape i'm an ellipse i'm a circle the second shape is what is parabola parabola is like that y equal to a x square shape again our hair is like that and also we have the number three hyperbola is like that or maybe on the y-axis understood these three shape is very important because you are used again and again in the geometry you can see from here this is a hyperbola you can read it we have a vertus we have a fossey here that's all that we have okay now I am going, this is just for information, like a background. I am going to 11.7 with a conic section in polar because our chapter was polar. So you have a conic section in polar. Here, I'm going to do such eccentricity. We need the eccentricity, we'll say eccentricity and how to find the shape. Now I'm going to give you the this equation you have one equation here it's very important easy maybe two and a half or five two and a half marks in this page so careful you have eccentricity you have a polar we have what we have uh, we see r equal to 11 points We are in 11.7. We have this equation R equal to uh, 1 plus E cosine theta, cosine theta, KE. E is eccentricity, K is vertice. I'll give you the example. Look at here. We have three cases here. Look, Kakaja. This is the equation. Do not forget about that equation. K is vertical directrices, not vertices, sorry, directrices. Direct tricks. Okay. Look at here. You can see we have directrices. And that's the equation. Okay. To distinguish between them, okay? So if we have a rule of eccentricity, say that if E, the parabola, if E, this equation R equal to that one, if E is equal to one is parabola, Okay, if E is greater than one is hyperbola, if it's less than one is ellipse. The shape will be that, like that in polar. That's a general note. So you have three cases, one, two, three. If E equal to one, parabola. If E less than one, ellipse. If E greater than one, 
will be hyperbolic. For example, during the exam, I'll give you that equation, K2, K, R equal to K2 plus cosine theta. You know, this is the formula. You should, you should change these two to one. Understood? You know why? Because your formula is one. So I'm going to divide by two. Understood? So R equal to K two plus cosine theta. Then we are going to multiply, divide that one by two, that one by two, that one by two. Any question? By two? If it's a three, I'm going to divide by three because I want to change that one to be one. Okay, can I confirm it? Good. So in that case, R will be what? K one over two. 1 plus 1 over 2 cosine theta. Am I right? And if you compare with that one, Ke 1 plus E cosine theta. So E is what? E equal to what? 1 over 2. Am I right? So E here in that example is equal to 1 over 2. So tell me about the shape is what? Is ellipse or ellipse or parabola? Or hyperbola because it's less than one is leaves. That's all. Easy, right? No, because actually hard. Actually hard. You got the idea? I'm going to leave these two for you because here's it's easy. Parabola is one. Here's two, two you can see, right? So E is equal to two. You can see all of them. Look at the example. You see, find the equation of the four hyperbola where E is three over two and direct is X is equal to two. So find the equation. The equation is like that, I know. Example, the equation is like that. Ke one plus E cosine theta, am I right? So you see what? I see that the E centricity is three over two. So is equal to K multiply three over two, one plus three over two cosine theta. Am I right? And also give you what? One more information is what? Is X is equal to two. X means that K because you say directly C. So X is equal to K is equal to two. You got it? Easy. One equation, one requirement, that's all. Or maybe, Look at the example number four. Find K or X in here. Can you imagine is equal to what? Find 25, another example. Exactly, R equal to 25, 10 plus 10 cosine theta, am I right? So X equal to what, or K equal to what? So I'm going to divide by 10. R equal to, that one will be one, that one will be one cosine theta, am I right? So 10 multiply by what? 25 divided by 10, so equal to 2.5. You can see is equal to 2.5. It was easy. So that's the rule for finding the, uh, what do you say? Finding the eccentricity and finding the tape, uh, type of the hyper, uh, para, uh, polar, it's a hyperbola or it's anything else.